Hey, about a week ago, Tinder recently updated their terms and conditions, and it is a doozy. So, what does that mean for us? OnlyFans managers, OnlyFans management agencies. Well, to be honest, it doesn't really affect us that much. It's still going to be fucking difficult to market OnlyFans on Tinder and on Bumble and all the other dating apps. It's still going to be fucking difficult, and this latest terms and conditions update, that, to be honest, doesn't really make it any harder. But I'll explain what it's all about anyway, all right? So, about a week ago, January 31st, they recently updated their policies, and it contains a lot of new stuff. But to be honest, it doesn't really relate to us a whole lot. It's more about acting inappropriately and trying to use it if you're underage. And this led me to believe that I think this might have been done in response to a recent hearing at the US Senate around child safety. So when was this? About nine days ago, Meta, so Mark Zuckerberg, X, that's Linda Yaccarino, the TikTok CEO, I think the Snapchat CEO was in there as well. They all got dragged into a the US Senate for a hearing and they all got roasted about child safety and how people have been using these platforms to traffic children and find really inappropriate content around children. And after them getting really, really grilled, especially Mark Zuckerberg, um, I can't help but think that this is in relation to that because a lot of the new stuff they've added is talking about how to sue them, um, where to contact them if you want to go to court, and they really emphasize about using it if you're underage or acting inappropriately. And they also talk about how if you violate their terms and conditions in any way, they'll send your account a message letting you know, you know, what you violated and what to do about it. But to be honest with what we do, you don't get a message, you just get banned. So this doesn't really change. If you reuse pictures that have been used with a different account that got banned, you just get straight up banned. Like you're not gonna get messages about that. So this isn't really relevant to us. Now, instead of me scrolling down these many, many pages, I'll go over this news article that sums it up perfectly, all right? So here we go. The world's most popular dating app unveils new changes. So it's a new safety warning feature to combat inappropriate behavior occurring on the forum. So they're gonna roll out the change globally in the coming weeks, an effort to boost good app, in-app behavior and promote authenticity, respect, and inclusivity. The update to user warnings will mean users found to be breaching the app's guidelines will receive in-app messages. So pretty much if you do something wrong, you're gonna get a message and you can't remove it. And then, you know, if you do it again, you're gone. Look, it's all just about acting inappropriately. Um, so they're really cracking down on app, uh, acting inappropriately in this modern political climate where, you know, people get offended easily and, and stuff like that. It's getting, getting pretty hairy. So this late, these latest changes are really just about that. And I can't help but think that it's also in relation to um, child safety as well because Meta is getting sued like five ways from Sunday around this. And I think TikTok's getting sued as well for similar reasons. And I'm pretty sure that they're doing this to like just tighten up, really. So to be honest, instead of running you through this whole article and dragging this video out, I'll just say if you're doing OnlyFans or you're an OnlyFans manager or you own an OnlyFans management agency and you're using dating apps to market OnlyFans, to sum it up, this update doesn't really affect us. Look, if we're lucky, it might mean that if the account gets flagged, then perhaps we'll get a message instead of just getting straight up banned or asked to verify when in the past, you know, we'll just get banned straight away. Perhaps this could mean that maybe we'll get a warning first, maybe, but it doesn't really make a difference. Look, dating apps are still gonna be fucking hard to market on but there's still gonna be the holy grail of OnlyFans marketing. And if you're in this space and you're actually wanting to know how to market the OnlyFans account and OnlyFans accounts on dating apps, check out my other videos because I show exactly how to, and it is not affected by this latest terms and conditions update. And that's it. So if you like my video, go smash the like button, smash the subscribe button, and I'll see you on another one.